Hey, on this episode of the Content Toolbox, I'm going to be talking about online lead generation. Now, my guess is that largely the efforts that you have been putting into your online marketing efforts have been costing and wasting a lot of time and money, which super sucks. Let's all agree, right? The good news is that there's a few tweaks that you can do, and I'm going to share with you the steps to obtain the perfect trifecta that will actually save you both time and money and bring you more qualified leads online. So let's get rolling. All right, first of all, if you're new here, I'm Jen Neal, founder of Formula Done and the Content Activation System, which we're gonna be talking about today. It's amazing. Uh, so basically what we do is we help small businesses find qualified leads and traffic online. If any of that sounds interesting to you, make sure you check out some of our other uh, videos and dig in. We have plenty of amazing resources to help you along your way. So let's get talking about leads today. That's what we're all here to do. And I know with just a few small tweaks, you are going to be able to bring in more traffic and those highly qualified leads. So what are we talking about? Let's just get going and get you to work getting the right leads for your business. All right. So I got to tell you guys, I was really nervous in preparing for this episode because originally we were going to be sharing some lead generation tips from some activities that we've been doing well as technology and sometimes things go, they were a little bit late getting to the table. So we decided to do sort of a two-parter. So on the behind the scenes, what's happening is we're actually developing some gamified type of lead gen tools, and I'm going to share the results with you on a later episode. So what I decided to do on this episode was actually talk about lead generation techniques that work and how they play into what we know about the algorithms and how traffic moves around online so that you can get basically the biggest bang for your buck. And as I started digging in, I realized like there are a lot, a lot, a lot of people. There are so many businesses out there talking about how, how to do lead generation. And there's a lot <laughs> that can be done with lead generation, right? But I'm not here to tell you about referrals and networking and go join your local chamber. Like, no, we're talking about online lead generation. And the more that I really dug into the different types of lead generation, like there's all these tactical things, do a webinar, do an opt-in, build a landing page, which those things are all very, very important. But what really matters the most is understanding how traffic is coming into you and how prospects convert into leads and understanding that for me in a visual way is super amazing, right? That is actually, it's so awesome because what happened is this episode actually sort of brought me full circle back to the origination, origination, the, anyway, the beginnings, let's go with that, of the content activation formula. And what that did was actually give me an opportunity to update sort of this visual that I have. And I really want to share it with you guys today because I think that it's going to make, like, it just makes the biggest difference. Like now I get it. And now I get why I want to use this type of lead gen tool here. And like, what are the next steps? So instead of this being a list of here's just some ways that you can generate leads, we're actually going to look at where they're coming from and why they are going to want to engage with you and sort of what to use where along with that i'm going to reveal to you the perfect trifecta that will reduce your costs and reduce the amount of time that you're spending so are we ready i'm so excited okay so this is the content activation formula and it looks like some sort of spaceshipy death star kind of weapon and it kind of is but we're going to use this for good because uh what <laughs> what this is going to do is show you kind of how our traffic is coming in right so i'm actually i'm going to walk you through this step by step so that you fully understand it because i think that it really really helps kind of explain and understand online traffic so let's start here first with this is our business and this out here is all of our prospects and those people that we're trying to reach who could be potential customers. And so what we're trying to do is connect with them, right? So we create marketing messages of different kinds 
that basically draws them in from information superhighway land out here into our business. So we're creating this, this sort of attraction type method. This is the part that I'm going to be talking about in terms of online lead generation. And once we create this message, then we want to optimize it, right? We want to not just have a little single point of entry, but we want to have all these different ways that people can come in and learn more and more about who we are and what we do. Then we want to do other things that are going to get people to take notice out here. Now, a lot of times this is ads, this is social posts, this is stage presentations, summits presentations, your new book, whatever it is that you're doing that's getting people to take notice. And once they take notice, we want to get them off like they're going to take the information superhighway exit, right? They're going to hop off and they are going to get stuck into our little tractor beam here, which is pulling people into our world, right? So they're turning attention to us and coming in. Once they're in our little world here, now what I want you to imagine is that all of these out here are like little satellite type things. These are still part of your business, but what they are is like, this is your high ticket program. This is a freebie opt-in. Maybe this is a really low end offer. This is your core program. So we all have this sort of value ladder, but instead of thinking of it in terms of like a stair step that just goes up, think of it in terms of there are a lot of different ways that people will engage with these things. So they are living in your world, they're absorbing your information and your content stuff. And at some point they're going to engage out here. So what that looks like is, you know, sometimes they engage by paying money. Sometimes they engage by giving us their email address, right? So either way, they're paying some sort of a toll to kind of cross through this bridge. And that's when they turn from a prospect out here into a lead, right? Because we actually have their information and we can market to them. So that's lead gen 101, sort of how people come in. Now, once they engage, here's one of the big problems that I have seen so many businesses do is that people will come in and engage in here, but not even know that you have this program and this program, or maybe this little resource that could help them. So instead of thinking that they just have to be pushing up, know that they can come in here and like bounce back out here and absorb some more free content and then go get this resource and then absorb some more content. And as long as we're providing this nurture line here, this is in emails, text messages, outbound phone calls, any of these kinds of things where you're talking with people, you're letting them know about your other programs. And so they're like, oh, what I really want is done for you. Can you just do this for me? And you're like, yeah, unless you tell them that that service is available, they may not know if they just came in over here, right? So that's why having an, an automation nurture is so important. And once we have everything all together, we're going to track it. So this dotted line around everything is tracking our results. So we want to make sure that you're paying attention to how well did this work? How well did people actually pull off of the information superhighway here? What information are they listening to? How well are each of these opt-ins working? How well are your open rates working? We're going to track everything because if you don't, you don't know how well stuff is working and what you need to adjust, what you need to fix, right? Makes total sense, but doesn't this really help in terms of having a visual and understanding traffic. So here's the big problem. The big mistake that a lot of people make is we're out here. We have prospects out here in information superhighway land, right? And we're like, Hey, we put up an ad stop. I want you to pay attention. Right? And so then instead of turning their attention to our free information where they can look up any of our stuff and learn things on their own time, what they do is you're doing ads and you run them right to a funnel and say, Hey, go buy my program. So they aren't getting sucked in through this tractor beam. They aren't getting warmed up to all of your information. They are just getting thrown right into whatever page this is, whatever funnel this is. Now it does work. Some of it does work, right? 1% people will convert out here, but that doesn't mean that they're going to be warmed up leaps. They don't know who you are. They just, got an ad right here and went boop and came right over here. They don't know anything about you and how you help people and any of your community or any of that, right? Because they haven't spent time bouncing around in your tractor beam and your warm up like laser beam. <laughs> so what's really important is we want to make sure that people can come in through here. The 99% of people 
that won't just convert immediately out to here. We wanna make sure that they're gonna come in, they're gonna bounce around in here. Now, what happens with this a lot of times is if somebody even sees some of the things that you're doing out here to take notice, you have your new book, you just did a stage presentation, you put up an ad, you put up a social post, they're like, what is this? I wanna learn more. So they go and they Google research you. And if they find information, that's still part of your tractor beam. You're getting sucked in through here, right? So if you're not showing up in here, then that is, you're, you're still trying to convert just that 1% instead of bringing people in here where you're gonna have a chance to hit the rest of that 99%. So I hope that that makes a little bit of sense. Let's kind of run through here in case you kind of need to remember how this works. I made it way fun and easy. So we have the very first thing you wanna do is create this message to attract our prospects, bring them in. That's our create. Then we have optimize, which is going to be expanding your message and creating all sorts of different ways that people can engage. We're gonna talk more about that in just a second. Then we have the things that we're gonna to do to take notice and get people to turn their attention. And then ultimately engage, we're gonna nurture them and we're gonna track everything that we're doing. So what's really awesome about that is it actually spells content, right? We have C-O-N-T-E-N-N-T. -T -E -N -N -T. Pretty awesome, right? You're never gonna forget this again. You will totally be able to draw this, it's amazing. All right, so let's take a look at what we can do to optimize this. Since we know how important this like tractor laser beam thing is. I mean, look at that. It even looks like we're kind of going pew pew. Like we got a little like weapon. We're going, hey, pay attention to me, right? Which is okay as long as you're just not being annoying. So the really fun part about this is if we look closer at how we're gonna optimize this, let's pull this out, right? So here's our tractor beam kind of looking in depth and we're gonna look at this optimized step. So this is where the trifecta comes in. So remember I mentioned Google backdoor research, right? This is our traffic trifecta. <laughs> so really the first part of this is organic traffic. When people see some of the things that you have put out there to get them to stop and pay attention to you, and if they decide that they wanna search things on their own, they wanna do the Google backdoor research, so that's where organic or free traffic comes from. If they're searching for a problem, a lot of times this is initiated from an ad or things that you have done. A lot of times they don't even know who you are. They're just problem aware. And so they're like, how do I stop this or overcome this or get this, which is what you're doing, right? So if you are showing up in some of these millions of organic search that happens, then you're going to be getting free traffic and it's also validation for people who are trying to learn more about you based on some of the other things that you've done with like ads or social posts or things like that. So things that you can do for really great organic content is you can do, obviously SEO optimized content is ideally the best. Now I get that SEO is kind of this horrible term for digital marketers. So think of it like this, think of it like you could have a blog, but you could also talk about really you're just wanting to provide good, valuable information. So it could be an advertorial. It could be an informative landing page that isn't asking immediately for an opt-in. It could be a fun infographic or a white paper. The important part about organic is that uh, you start building some of that now and it just continues to accumulate. It becomes this library of information that you start to amass that eventually Google starts to notice, right? And so do your prospects. So if you're producing information right now, please also pay attention to this organic factor. Now, the next one, the one that most people are engaging in here, social. Social media is this, like all of us are mostly using social media for something, whether it's groups and we're creating our community, whether we're just doing a bunch of social posts. But what we wanna do here is we really wanna create this presence or this ability for exposure. Short videos are amazing to be able to use, like people's attention span, and by short, I mean less than 30 seconds, at least less than a minute. Telling stories, relating to people, share personal stories, share your thoughts about a conference or a book that you read. You wanna make sure that when you're on social media, you're paying attention to why people are there, which is usually to connect, engage, and be entertained in some way. So. That's the kind of social media that you wanna have out there. 
limit the number of links that you're sending straight to an opt-in form. So here's what happens. If you end up taking people off of social media, social media platforms are like, mm, yeah, you're trying to take our traffic away. So then they stop showing your stuff to people, right? So that's why your reach goes down. Um, so organic social media can work. You just have to pay attention to the type of content and posts that you're doing and not necessarily be trying to mm, do a post and sell somebody from a post or do a post and bring somebody right to your opt-in. So we want to use social media, yes, and using social media in combination with your organic is part of the power of the traffic trifecta, right? Okay, then next up, what we want to look at, the last part of our trifecta is paid ads. Because anybody who's done any kind of SEO work or social media work, you know that your reach is limited to, you know, the amount of people that you're trying to see or like social media will actually limit your reach. So what do we want to do? We want to support your efforts with paid ads. Now, if you already have people engaging in organic and your social media, you do paid ads, it just boosts what's happening in here and it creates this perfect trifecta where you get more people coming in through free. You get better engagement from social. Your social engagement actually helps drop your paid ads. So all of these things kind of work together. That's why it becomes this perfect traffic trifecta. So what are types of things that we can do for paid? So you're going to basically use really cheap ads that are going to drive people to your free content. And by free content, I mean like truly free content, right? Doesn't require an opt-in bridge. It's just like, hey, here's some awesome things. Here's that infographic. Here's the white paper. Here's a case study, some of those things. Then you can look at all of the people who have engaged with your social media, with those short videos you put up, with all of the free content that you have hosted on your website, right? All of that, then you retarget the people who have engaged with that with your paid ads and it speeds up the whole process here and it actually drops your cost, which is amazing, right? That's why this all the traffic trifecta is perfectly amazing. So don't forget also, remember our tracking line it goes around everything. That also means that we're tracking everything that's happening in your business. So that includes what's going on with your ads, what's going on with your social, what's going on with your organic. And as that relates to everything in your business, your programs, your opt-ins, all of your free content, how well these little attention getting things are working. So that all is how we form the content activation formula. And I hope that that really helps in terms of like understanding visual, but this is really how traffic moves around online. Actually, I'm going to give you guys some samples and ideas of great lead magnets or other things that you can kind of bring in. But out of curiosity, I just want to know, does this help anybody understand the model of how traffic is kind of moving and to understand, like to visualize it in your brain about how our prospects are coming in and why some are warmed up and more likely to convert than not? I just really want to see if this helps or if it just looks like some gobbledygook thing <laughs> that you're like, what is this? She's talking about this crazy lady. Okay. Any insights, inspirations, love to hear them. Drop them in the comments below. And while you're at it, make sure you give our video a thumbs up if you're liking it. Okay. So let's give you some examples of types of juicy lead magnets. So if we're talking like out here, some of these engagement things, right? We have all this free content, again, infographics, case studies, white papers, blogs, advertorials, e-signs, any of these kinds of things that you can just share out here for free between your organic, your social, and your paid. Like these are things that people are going to engage with without having to pay you anything, whether their email address or money. So when we get in here and we have these lead magnets, these opt-ins, where they actually have to exchange their information in order to be able to they get them on our list and it gives them gated content, right? So it's just a little bit more juicy. So let's look at the, some types of lead magnets that you can use. So a lot of times you can have an extra special ebook or a really extensive white paper or something like that. You can put that behind a gate, right, for an opt-in. Okay, webinars are not dead. <laughs> and I would also suggest try out webinars of different links. 
from five minutes to 90 minutes. Depending on your audience, they're gonna be willing and engaged to sit through different lengths of time. You can do some really updated infographics, like really in-depth things if you wanna give some away that behind a gate instead of just as completely free information. Uh, giveaways. Giveaways are really, really awesome. Actually, we're participating in several giveaways. You've probably seen some of our information. So we share the Ultimate Content Repurposing Guide, which gives you all the steps that we go through on how we repurpose content. So we can take like one video and turn it into a month's worth of social content and also our organic content. And then we also use that for ads. So see, we're using one video to create that perfect traffic trifecta. So other businesses that we're working with, they will put on these giveaways. So then I pay them a small amount of money. They go out and get a whole bunch of people together who are all giving away different gifts. They help promote it. We help promote it. Everybody involved helps promote it. So now you have, you know, 20 people all of a sudden promoting this giveaway. Well, people go, they join the giveaway and then they opt in for your thing if they find it interesting, right? So it's a nice way to kind of expand your reach without having to do it just directly from paid ads. So giveaways are a lot of fun. You can do mini courses that are delivered either through some sort of a course management system or just honestly, straight up through emails, like just, just give them, Hey, I'm going to give you a series of four videos and here's what you're going to learn and just give it away. And here's the really, really awesome thing. You guys, even if you do really high end services and you give away the what and the why people are still going to need you, but they're going to feel more of like, you're not giving absolutely everything away. You're just educating them enough to be like, this is really awesome. And I need you to help me. So they're learning on their own terms. So mini courses are great like that. So our virtual events and summits, things like that to create, you know, increased exposure, create your own giveaway where you're hosting that and bringing other businesses, surveys and assessments, any kind of gamification that you can do. That is actually, you know, I told you that we're testing out some of our own giveaways. So we are testing out a fun little survey that's totally gamified. And then we're also doing basically just a straight up gamified like game. And so we're going to actually test how well both of those things kind of work as well as our giveaways. So I will give you guys all of the results of what we've been doing here in just a little bit, right? Okay. So there are plenty of ways to create many different sort of juicy lead magnets. And what I recommend is create multiples all the time, create multiples, but track how well it's working. You can have tons of all of these little opt-ins and giveaways over here. Track how well they're working. What are people more interested in? Do more of what's working and less of what's not. That's really what the game is about. But just because you have a very specific service of what you're doing, doesn't mean that you couldn't do. Okay. So for instance, we do lead gen for different businesses, right? But I could actually go out and say like, Hey, here's how to repurpose your content to create the traffic trifecta in your business. And I could create a different mini course for real estate agents, for coaches, for authors. All of those could be completely different opt-ins, right? I'm targeting different people. Or I could take the exact same thing that we're doing and turn it into a mini course, an ebook, an infographic, a white paper with case, case, case study results. <laughs> Uh, so I can repurpose the same kind of thing into multiple different types of media. And that's usually what I recommend different kinds of media and different kinds of audiences and see what resonates, what works. So I hope that this has been a uh, useful in terms of understanding how traffic sort of flows around and how it is that you are turning on that traffic trifecta to create like your laser beam that's bringing everybody in. It's already the things that you're doing. Just understand that consumers are smart and they're going to social platforms for a reason. Understand those reasons. They're also smart. They want to do their own research and engage that way. So if they want to backdoor research you, do you show up? Just make sure that you are paying attention to all three points in that traffic trifecta and that you are giving away some great information so that you're warming people up so that when they do come in, they're 
being attracted into you and they're going to engage with you and be much more likely. You're also nurturing them and letting them know, hey, this is what else we do. So I know with that, that you are going to go do amazing, amazing things. I hope this has been helpful. And uh, you want to see any of these in action, head to formuladone.com and go check out the blog where we actually have more information than what I just covered in this episode, as well as you guessed it, you can look at how we're doing some of our opt-ins and calls to action on there. So go check everything out. Uh, let us know any questions. And I can't wait to hear how this content activation formula and the traffic trifecta affect your business and getting you more qualified leads in less time and less money. Oh, 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 oh,